Welcome to our lesson on calculating the volume and the surface area of spheres. To work out the surface area, we're going to use the formula 4 pi r squared. And to work out the volume, we're going to use the formula 4 thirds of pi r cubed. So we'll begin by working out the volume of this sphere where the radius is 5 centimeters. So we'll substitute this in place of a radius here. So the volume is 4 thirds of pi multiplied by the radius, which is 5 cubed. So the first thing we'll do is we'll work out the 5 cubed, which is 125. So the volume is 4 thirds of pi over 3 multiplied by 125. And we can simplify this by multiplying the 4 and 125. So we have 500 pi over 3. And this would be the answer as a multiple of pi, and it's in centimeters cubed. We can approximate it as a decimal, and that would be 524 centimeters cubed to three significant figures. And to work out the surface area of the same sphere, again, the radius is five. And we'll put this five centimeters in here now. So we have the area is four, multiplied by pi, multiplied by the radius of 5 squared. 5 squared is 25, and 25 multiplied by 4 is 100. So the area of the multiple of pi is 100 pi centimeters squared. And we can approximate this at the decimal as 314 centimeters squared to three significant figures. Do you want to try and work out the volume and the surface area of the pin sphere? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we'll begin by working out the volume. And the radius this time is half the diameter. So the radius will be 3 centimeters. So the volume is 4 thirds of pi multiplied by 3 cubed. And we can simplify this division of 3 with a power of 3. So this becomes 3 squared. So we have a volume is 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. So we have 36 pi centimeters cubed. We can approximate this as a decimal to make 113 centimeters cubed to three significant figures. And the surface area, we can use the formula for pi r squared. Again, the radius is 3, so we have the area is 4 multiplied by pi multiplied by 3 squared. 9 times 4 is 36, so we have 36 pi centimeters squared. As a decimal, this is again approximately 113 centimeters squared to three significant figures. Okay, let's try one more question. So in this question, we're going to calculate the volume and the surface area of this hemisphere. Do you want to try and do this yourself? And you can leave your answers at the decimal to three significant figures. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So to work out the volume, we're going to use the formula of 4 thirds pi r cubed. But that would be for a full sphere. And this is a half a sphere, so we're going to half a 4 thirds. So this becomes two-thirds of pi r cubed. And because we've been given the diameter, we need to work out the radius, which is half of that, as 6.5 centimeters. So we're going to substitute in 6.5 into our radius. So the volume is two-thirds of pi multiplied by 6.5 cubed. And we can work this out on a calculator and we get approximately 575 centimeters cubed to three significant figures. The surface area, well, we have a formula of four pi r squared for a full sphere. But again, you can see it's half of that. So we're going to divide it by two. But we need to include also the base of our hemisphere here, which is a circle. So we have a circle of radius 6.5 and the area of a circle is pi r squared. 
So we'll simplify this fraction here. Half of 4 pi r squared is 2 pi r squared plus the pi r squared, which is the base. We can collect these like terms. So the area of a hemisphere would be 3 pi r squared. And the radius is 6.5. So we have 3 pi multiplied by 6.5 squared. And we can put this out on a calculator and we get 398 centimeters squared to three significant figures. Thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.